Hello everyone, Tori here. Welcome to People Ask Segment. If you are new to this channel, please click the subscribe button and uh, the like button as well so you can get notified every time we post videos. But in this segment, this is where I answer questions that people have when they're starting out an agency or they're struggling to actually grow their business. So in today's segment, I'll be answering the question, how to get leads for your business. Let's jump into it. First and foremost, you have to understand that the different kind of leads that you can get as an agent. You have the referrals, you have the ones that you actually buy, and then the ones that you just pull up from different listings. Okay, let's start with referrals. Referrals are very easy. They're warm leads that somebody else is sending a person to you because they already identified what exactly they want. They're ready to buy. It's an easy sale. Okay. It's an easy sale. Now, these referrals can come from your family, your network, you know, your chamber of commerce. It could come from, you know, loan officers, like, you know, that you have networked with. Anybody who knows you can send you um, a referral. And like I said, that makes it a very easy sell for a new policy. The next category are the leads that you actually buy. Okay. There's so many companies out there that actually sell leads basing off of a demographic, a region, age, whatever. They, they have different categories. So you just have to decide what kind of leads are you looking for. The ones that are showing vehicles, the ones that are showing property, the ones that are showing a certain age group you're targeting, but you have to be very specific what you're looking for. That way you buy the correct listing, otherwise you'd be wasting money. The other category is the listing. Okay, the listing is free. You basically look up different lists like property lists, you look up the directory, anywhere you can find the list of people so that you can prospect. This one is basically cold calling all the way because they haven't contacted you that they're looking for a new policy. You are basically introducing yourself and offering a service. And I prefer calling it a solution than a service because if you just go in as a salesperson, most likely you're gonna get shut down. But if you go in with a solution like, you know, I can help you save money or, you know, I can help you better manage your policies. People are most likely to listen, but these listings are completely free. You can find them on the internet through um, the assessor, uh, property assessment um, county pages. It's public records. You can download them. It shows you what they have as far as property and most likely if they have let's say a house they are most likely going to have a car as well which is an easy sell because now you can sell a home on an auto policy in one sitting and if the person is married there's another chance that there's going to be a second vehicle if not even a third and maybe recreational vehicles okay going back to the referral leads Another way that I would make sure that I am not constantly scouting or I'm supplementing my, my listings was working with rental properties. So most age, new agents think that they can just go to a rental property and say, Hey, I want to take on, um, I would like to offer you my services and become your agent by insuring your properties. Well, that doesn't work very good because those people already have an established relationship with their existing agent and to transfer those policies, it is a lot of work, okay? And they cannot take any chances switching all their policies to a new agent who doesn't have skin in the game. So my recommendation instead is that ask the rental properties if you can leave your brochures, or your business cards so that when they require their renters to have, you know, insurance, renters insurance, they give them your card. This again becomes a warm lead because now they are doing most of the legwork to get you the business. This is very easy. I've done it. It works amazing. 
And also that way it does not put the pressure on the staff to go ahead and persuade their, their bosses to move their business to you. Because now it's the renters that you're targeting and not the landlord. Okay. When it comes to buying leads, again, you have to be very careful because some, some companies recycle the leads over and over and over and over and over and over. And sometimes people get tired getting solicited insurance because guess what? Everybody is buying the exact same list. So you have to get a little bit strategic with your area, get to know people, make yourself known that you are in the business for long term and not just a quick buck. And if you provide the solutions and show the, that you are interested in helping people, sales do come very easily. Okay. And also focus on helping, not becoming a salesperson. So I hope this video helps you to get started. And again, check out the links below in the description for more information and resources.